In this video, we would like to show you what to look out for when dealing with cracked connecting rods. The most important point is certainly cleanliness at the workplace. Even small particles of dirt can cause major problems when assembling cracked connecting rods. Before opening the connecting rod bearing screws, check that the bearing halves, top and bottom, are marked. The exact assignment of the connecting rods to the corresponding bearing caps is necessary. If there are no markings, mark the upper and lower parts with a touch-up pencil. To loosen the screws from the bearing cap, the connecting rod must be fixed accordingly. Without proper fixation, you risk bending the connecting rod during assembly. To avoid any damage and contamination of the crack surface, the upper and lower parts of the connecting rod should only be separated for assembly. For other activities, such as measuring the connecting rod, the bearing cap should always be in place and the screws hand tightened. If cleaning is necessary after all, be careful not to use materials from which small particles could be deposited into the crack surface. When installing the bearing shells, make sure that no particles come loose and get onto the crack surface. In some cases, special tools are also used to install the bearing shells. To ensure that the cracking surfaces are really clean, clean them only with a vacuum cleaner and brake cleaner fluid. Other cleaning methods, such as using high air pressure or cleaning agents, are not suitable and may cause consequential damage. Also make sure to avoid any contact with the surface, if possible. Hard objects can deform the cracking surface so that the two parts no longer fit together positively. Before installing the connecting rods, the plain bearing surfaces must be wetted with oil. Please also make sure that no oil runs onto the cracked surface itself. Oil in the pores of the cracked surface can lead to hydrocompression and thus to a defective bolting.